guys, Stan here, and I want to talk to you about how to use String Builder to uh, build rich strings that consist of values from lots of different variables and dynamic text and hard-coded text uh, that you can use to pass to different functions. Uh, so you can see here I've deployed the template for loop over data set. I've got a data set query here uh, that's returning some information and I've defined this object. So I've got a number of variables that are available to me. If, uh, if you're unfamiliar with defining objects, we've got a separate video on that. I would encourage you to take a look. That work's already been done here. But what I want to show you is, is how we can leverage the string builder. So here um, I want to send an email uh, and I want the, the recipient and all of the context around the email to be driven by variables inside of this object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the person and for the subject line we'll just write one here. Um, we'll say uh, data set and one of the things I have in here is um, a data set name. So I'm going to insert that in here. If we take a look just uh, just for sanity purposes see my uh, my data set query here is taking a look at uh, grabbing owner name, name, object link, and last run date. So we can see that Amos Oaks owns a data set called the Cube Catalog. We have a link to that. We can see when it last ran, and we know his user ID, uh, which we're storing as a person. So what I want to do is I want to send an email to Amos and let him know that he has a data set that hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, so back to this uh, string builder part, I'm going to construct my email body here. And this is where we can start to insert uh, variables. So we can say something like dear uh, Amos, right? And start injecting things inside of here. We wanted to let you know that um, we'll go ahead and put the uh, the data set name is flagged for deletion, if I could type, because it last ran on, we can go ahead and insert uh, that date here. Um, we can put as many variables inside of one of these as we want to. Uh, you can find the data set here. We can insert that link. Uh, object link, uh, but but leveraging the string builder um, is a way. It's, it's commonly used if you want to append uh, data to a data set um, in authoring an email body or something along these lines. Um, and just wanted to to do a quick walkthrough on how to leverage string builder to create rich and robust string uh, inputs, uh, leveraging variables that you've got inside of your workflow. Thanks for watching.